Hello everyone, in today's video we will be talking about how we can create a gift exchange list. So as you can see here we have a group of friends and they would like to exchange gifts amongst each other but they do not know who should give a gift to whom. So we would like to help them. To do this we first create a dictionary called gifts. After that we would like to populate the dictionary by looping through the list. So Alice would give a gift to Bob, Bob to Craig and so on. And once we reach Fred Fred will loop back and give a gift to Alice. So to do this, we create a loop called for num in range. It starts with the index zero and uh, it will continue to the length of the list. And we will populate the dictionary. So gifts list num. So num is our index. So the first loop num is zero. So list zero would be Alice. And we want, we want to assign Alice Bob, so we will increment the list at the index, so num plus one. So as the loop goes on, we keep incrementing it. And that way, we will be able to populate our dictionary. But there is a problem. But before I tell you about the problem, let's run the code and show it to you. That way, it would be better for you guys. So let's print it out, save it, run it. You see, there is an index error. Why is it? Why is there an index error? Because once we loop through the list and once we reach Fred, we can no longer increment the index. So to do this, we will actually have to loop back to Alice. To do this, we will use try. And then we will catch the errors, except index error. So if there is an index error, uh, we will say gifts list num equals to list zero. So if there is an index error, we will actually loop back to Alice. So let's save it and run it. And now you see we actually have our dictionary and every person has now been assigned a new person. And this is what we wanted, except that we wanted a random list and this is not random. To make it random, we will have to import a module called random. Import random. And now random actually has a function called shuffle, so random.shuffle. We will actually randomize the list before we create the dictionary. That way the dictionary itself will be random. So let's run it one more time. And now you can see that the dictionary is actually random. And if we keep uh, running the code, every time the dictionary is giving a new list, and this is what we wanted, but we can actually take it one step further. So for example, there is a special request. For example, Alice can no longer give a gift to Craig and Craig cannot give a gift to Alice. How do we accommodate this special request? It's actually pretty simple. What we want to do is we want to create a flag. So the flag will be called repeat and we assign it true. And now we create a loop. So while repeat, which means while true, we keep running this code. We keep creating our dictionary. And after we create the dictionary, we want, we want to loop through the dictionary to check if this condition has been met. So for key comma value in gifts.items, if this, uh, we will loop through the dictionary and we will check. So gifts Alice. Uh, not alive, Alice. <laughs> if, it's, if Alice has been assigned the keyword Craig or gifts Craig has been assigned the keyword Alice, which means either one of them have been assigned each other, what we want to do is we want to continue looping through the uh, we continue the while loop and we continue creating a new dictionary because we do not want a dictionary in which these conditions are met. So that means repeat would continue to be true. However, if these conditions are not met, else we will say that repeat is equal to false. And here I have noticed I've missed the keyword if. So if these conditions are met, then the repeat is true, else repeat is equal to false. So let's save it and run it one more time. And now you can see that we have a list and now this list, Alice has not been assigned Craig and Craig won't be assigned Alice. And if you can 
uh, keep running it, keep running it. Every single time we'll have a new list, and there won't be a uh, there won't be a list which will have Alice giving a gift to Craig or Craig to Alice. And every time it's a random list. So we have achieved our purpose, and hopefully these people will be able to exchange gifts in a random manner. And you guys can also use this code if you want to exchange gifts with your friends. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, I would appreciate if you would like and uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you're most welcome to comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Now I'll see you again. Bye bye for now.